Everybody wants you to not him. Can you agree with you, Stephen? Not an agency that claims all to existence. No revenge. I'll go back to the gun trap and find you, sir. What's the name of the man who brings you to the family? Or what Not tell me since we were last school, we've been taking a trip down at the Not Tell Me Grade School preseason tournament getting set to get underway between the Indians of Carsley and the Yellow Jackets of Hyman. Tyler Wolfe with you alongside James Sandlin and James, I do believe you've got some starting lineups for both teams in this uh, Big Ten Championship game tonight. Yeah, I think they just flipped off, so I think that Car Creek won the home team on the scoreboard. So I guess we'll start with... See where we're going, decide to start with on the start of the line. Looks like he's going to start with the B team of Car Creek. Look, looks like we've got some confusion in the books. <laughs> it appears that we do at this rate. And so Car Creek will start out there doing the, uh, the non starter kind of. I expect this game to be a quick pace up and down game. Both teams like to run and gun, both teams like to print, and both teams have got the numbers and athletes to do it here in the county. Yes, they do. They have got the quick speed and the execution down low. That is something that both of these teams have pretty much have shown that they were able to do here since the start of this uh, preseason tournament. Yeah, one of the officials for tonight is going to be Mr. Travis Perry and Brian Naples, the two senior officials, going to officiate all games. So the starting lineup for Car Creek is going to be number 34, Tate Craft. Number 24, Cooper Dials. 23, Mr. Christian Hall. 32, Ashton Mosley, number 44, Jed Ambergy. Car Creek coached by Joe Dyes, Adam Dyes, and his team left. And now for the Hyman, they're coached by Randall Ryder, Mr. Mad Dog. And James Grigby is the coaching staff for the Hyman Power Dragons. If you're watching on Hometown Sports Point, hit that like and share button. And if you're on the radio and you're going back and forth tonight, going out maybe doing a little early Christmas shopping, Tyler, they can download that WKCB mobile app and take us anywhere that we travel. Or they can go to WKCB.com. Let's just anywhere around the world tonight and give these young men an opportunity to listen to their ball games. So I'm starting line up. goes for number 25, Mr. Colton Riley. 35, K.J. Milton. 30, Jonah Oosley. Number 24, Blayton Yee, and number one, Caleb Bentley. We'll round out the starting lineup as the crowd cheer. Here, Mr. Preston Hall came back to Hyman today from played football over at Hazard this, this past fall and had a absolute awesome uh, football season for Preston. And now he's back at Hyman to play basketball for Coach Riley, so that's a big plus back to the Hyman Yellow Jackets. Yes, indeedy. And, you know, speaking of uh, football, kind of right quick like, in case you've not heard this news this afternoon, Dan Howard, the head coach of Hazard High School, did resign his position as head coach this afternoon. Yes, and Hazard will be on the search for a uh, football coach. Hats off to uh, Dan Howard. He did a great job over at Hazard the uh, wild time he was there. So congratulations to Mr. Howard and WKCB. And on that sports corner, we wish him the best of luck and whatever next chapter life's going to present him with, Tyler. And we are set to tip this one off between Car Creek and Hyman in the B-Team Championship game. James Sandlin providing the play-by-play -play and the Wolfman providing color. And what story that I can do with my fragile little mind. And James, it is yours. Coach Riley walks his team out on the floor in a what I consider a, a, a full Morton Combs athletic complex, Tyler. Hyman sitting across from us, Car Creek behind us. And Travis Perry throws it up, tip controlled by Phil Loose. Jonah comes down with it, tries to kick it out, goes out of bounds, and they're going to say it'll stay with Hyman. As KJ Melton will bring it out. And we have got quarter number one underway here in this B team game. Melton in the rally, top of the key, back over to KJ. KJ looking into Jonah, Jonah, top of the free throw line. 
into Bentley. Bentley lays it up, left it short, gets his own rebound. We're going to foul right out of the gate on Car Creek. And that's going to be on Mr. Mosby. That's going to be Cooper Dials. Oh, that's Cooper Dials. For Car Creek with a foul on that one. Bentley, free throw up to Lord off the back of the rim. 5.45 to go. Hyman's going right to left on the radio dial, dressed to their Hunter Green outlined in yellow. And second free throw is looking good for Mr. Bentley. May, as the bank of Hyman says, he never closes, Tyler. Never does, and Hyman draws first blood, one to zip. Hyman slashes Mosley across midcourt, picks it up, he's trapped in the corner. Gets it over to Hall, Christian for three. Far side, in and out, rebounded by Bentley. Bentley up to Riley, Riley running across the cave. 5.28 to go, Hyman leads one to zero. Riley over to KJ, KJ looking to get it over the free throw line. Nothing to it, gives it to Yuri. Yuri back out to Riley. Coach Dials, Clapham knocks the defense, Car Creek's in a 2-3. KJ makes his move, lays it up, we're gonna have another foul on Hyman. This, is going, this one is gonna be on Ashton Mosley. That'll be his first, and that's the team second here, James. In the first quarter, 509 remains. Hyman one, and Carl Cruz is zip as we got the B team championship game underway. Melton's free throw up, no good. Of course, we got the A team game to uh, follow this one. Second free throw up, no good. As KJ Melton misses both of them, Carker gets the rebound. Here comes Mosley looking to run. Gives it up to Kraft. Kraft cross home, cross midcourt, guarded by Riley. Hyman's in a 2 3. Falls back, kicks it over to Amberg, near side. Amberg goes back to Kraft. Back to Amberg, back to Kraft. Kraft swings it over to Christian Hall. Mosley near far corner for three. Way too hard. Our ball went out of bounds off Cooper Dial. Should have gone to Hyman. 444 remains in quarter number one. Now uh, the scoring a little slower than I anticipated to start this one, James. Osley into Bentley. Bentley kicks it out to KJ. KJ loses it out of bounds. Ball back over to Car Creek. If you listen on hometown, hit that like and share button. We would appreciate it. Now Car Creek getting set to bring it up the length of the floor here. Away by Osley lays it up and good. It makes it three to one or three to zero in favor of Hyman. The Yellow Jackets stinging early here in this one, James. Back over to Kraft. Kraft goes over top to Hall. Hall walks with it. One too many steps before he can put the dribble down. Got a couple of seasoned officials out here, seasoned pros, you could call them. KJ with it across midcourt. Car Creek tried to press. KJ breaks it easy. Comes near side. Guarded by Jed Amberg. He kicks it back out to Riley. Riley back to Melton near corner. Melton takes it, swings it all the way across. Uzi for three. Nothing but net. You can't leave John Uzi wide open. He's got five already on the night. 6 0 Hyman. Mosley got it. Hyman's in a 1 2 with Mosley carried with it. As Hyman was in a 1 2 2 press. 3.39 to go. In favor of Hyman. And what is a great crowd in the early season tournament? KJ Melton for three, near side, left it short. Rebound to Jed Amberg. Jed's off to the races like the Kentucky Derby across the free throw line. Loses it. Here comes Riley back with it across. Colton's in the run, too. Picked up by Kraft. Tries to get rid of it. Stolen away by Mosley. Good defense by both sides to start the game. In the hall. Hall kicks it back out. Stolen away by Yuri. Went out of bounds. Stay with Car Creek. 3-11 remains in quarter number one. Six zip. It's all Hyman in this one of the B-team championship game. Yuri Coach Dial saying slow it down. Amberg is wide open. They're daring him to shoot it. They won't dare him long, Mr. Ruben. He is as good a shooter as you got in grade school. Over to Hall. Tate Kraft. Tate lines up from three. Lays it up way too hard. Ball goes up, fight for it. Mosley gets the rebound. He lays it up, left it short, rebound. Underneath out to Riley. Riley loses it into Mosley. Mosley's going to be fouled by Bentley. Going to be Kalen Bentley's first. Then Mosley to the free throw line. 
frantic play, Tyler. Yes, it was. Frantic indeed. And now Carl Creek with their first opportunity, easy opportunity here to put up their first points on the board tonight. Mosley, free throw. Look, no good. You know, we watched it a lot last year, Tyler. Free throw shooting. Needs improvement across the mountain. Mosley, free throw. Look, good. And just like that, Carter Creek will put up their first point of the evening, 6-1. to 6-1, to one. Melton gets it in Osley, back to Melton. Carter Creek in a 2-2-1 two, two, press. Hyman breaks it 4-2, kicks it out to Bentley. Bentley from 12. No good, left it hard, rebounded by Year. Year lays it back up and good. Late in the year, gets his first two points of the ball game. 8-1, Hyman. One thing you got to do if you're going up against Hyman, you got to have a strong defense against him. Mosley brings it up. He's trapped in that far side. And stolen away by Yuri. Good defense by Uzi and Yuri. Yuri brings it down, kicks it out to Uzi. Uzi thought about it, pulls it back down. Bentley, top of the key. Over to Riley. Riley lines up the three, lets it fly. No good. Left it short, rebounded by Uzi. Puts it back up too hard. Five foot underneath, and they're going to say hi with the ball. Man, Riley's got a pretty shot. That looked good all the way in, didn't it? Yes, it did. Eight to one, your score. Heinlein on top early. 2.05 in quarter number one left. Good defense by Ashton Mosley. As he knocks it out on K.J. Melton. Coach Riley comes all the way across midcourt to get his offense set up. He calls out play number one. Riley looking to get it in, throws it all the way out. Top the key to Bentley. Bentley guarded by Emberg. Far side, Riley. Riley for three. Far side. Oh, too hard air ball. Rebounded by Tate Craft. Tate comes out of it, guarded by Melton. Up ahead to Ambergy. Ambergy goes down. He's double teamed in the far corner. He's in trouble. Nowhere to go with it. And they're going to say timeout, Fergie. That's a good veteran timeout by Coach Dials. Yes, it is. And this is going to be a 30 second timeout. I believe James will tell you with him. We'll be back in 30 seconds. You're listening to the Killer B. Addiction is a disorder. We treat and we manage addiction like any other disorder. The issue touched me when I start seeing more and more young families fighting addiction, start having babies born with an addiction issue. When we have a great outcome, when we see that person coming back on their feet, working and producing and providing for their families. That's the best outcome. It makes you feel that you're doing something right. Prayers for an awesome season. Love, Pap, Nana, and Bubby. Go, Blayton. Good luck, Blayton, from Uncle Darren. You and your jackets have a great season. Good luck, Jonah. We're praying for an awesome season. Love, Mom, Dad, and Ellie. Good luck, son. You and your Car Creek Indians have a good season. Love, Mom, Dad, and Lacey. Good luck, Natalie, from your favorite fan, Autumn Grace. Have fun cheering this year. Car Creek having trouble getting anything going, Tyler. Yep, they've got to find something. Into Amberg. Amberg over to Kraft. Kraft kicks it over to Hall. Hall thought about it, pulls it down, goes baseline. Picked up by Melton, kicks it out to Dial. Kraft, back to Dial, back to Kraft. Off the key, thought about it, pulls it down. In the dials all the way across. It's stolen away by Yuri of Hyman. Here comes Blayton Yuri across midcourt. Nearly stolen away by Amberg. He's stolen away by Dials. As they fight for it, and that's going to be a foul on Yuri. Tell you what, Car Creek's starting to pick up some aggression there on the uh, defense there. And like I was saying earlier, James, one thing you've got to have when you play the, against the Hyman Yellow Jackets, you've got to have a strong defense to level with them to stay in the game. Cooper Dials inbounds it to Christian Hall. Hall goes far side, gets screened by Ashton Mosley. Hall kicks it to Mosley. Back over to Hall. Hall thought about it, kicks it to Kraft. Kraft drives baseline on Bentley. And they're going to get Bentley with a foul. And that's going to be Kalen Bentley's second foul. And this is going to be Car Creek's second opportunity at the free throw line this evening. James, and we'll see how Car Creek fares on this opportunity. Kraft's free throw up and good. Craft a key player there, James, for the Indians of Car Creek from what I remember from calling the games last week. It's going to be Tate's first point. Free throw on its way. 
And just like that, they get the Hyman lead to five. Eight to three, your score. Hyman still yet leading this one. 106 to go in quarter number one. And looks like he's going to get a third foul shot here, James. No, they've got a timeout here. Young man tying his shoe just in front of us. Oh, okay. And Coach now I play the role of many things as a coach, and a two and a shoelace tire is one of them. Hmm. Melton gets it in to Oosley, 105 to go. Hyman right to left. KJ across to Riley. Riley, nice block by Emberg, and he's out of bounds. Got to give it to uh, Car Creek, James. They are picking up their aggression on the defense yeah. against this Yellow Jagged team. Yes. Riley is going to inbound it for Hyman. Looking to get a call. Riley kicks it in the year. Over to Bentley. Bentley. Over to KJ Melton. He drives, lays it up too hard. Rebounded by Mosley. Mosley comes down with it. Over to Ambergy. Ambergy double team stolen away by KJ Melton. Tried to dribble between them. KJ lays it up and good. That's his first two of the evening and 10 to three. Hyman increases their lead to seven. Kraft back over to Mosley. 37 seconds to go. Kraft. Ahead to Hall. Hall nearly loses it. What a crossover and lays it up. Goes out of bounds, but a nice cross, crossover by Hall. And possession in favor of the Indians here as it looks like uh, Tate Kraft will throw the ball back into play for the Indians. Kraft slaps it and gets it in going out to Mosley. Mosley kicks it out to Hall. 26 seconds to go. Dials. Kraft, far side for three, in and out, no good. Rebounded underneath by KJ Melton. Melton comes out off, he's off to the races. All the way down, try to get guarded by Emberg and just lays it up. And that is going to make four points on the evening for Melton. Two seconds, Mosley spins, slings it up at the buzzer, no good. That's how we end the first quarter. Hyman 12, Car Creek 3. Boys preseason tournament, back in 60 seconds. You look good. The killer bee. Good luck, Tate, from Mom, Dad, Riley, and Presley. Good luck, Coach Chas and Natalie, from Jamie, Fran, Autumn, and Mallory. Good luck, Colt. Love, Mom and Dad. Good luck, Colton and Ethan Riley. Have a great season. Love, Mom and Dad. Good luck, KJ. Praying you have a successful season. Love, Janet and Rick. Good luck, Cole. Have a great 8th grade season and finish strong. Love, Mom and Dad. Good luck, KJ, from Mom and Dad. Tonight's sporting event is brought to you by Lisa Bowen Allen. Lisa is the Knott County Circuit Court Clerk and wishes all of the athletes in Knott County the best of luck. She hopes this is your best season yet and reminds all of the people in Knott County that she and her staff are here to serve you. Once again, good luck from Lisa Bowen Allen. in middle school, uh, grade school league has asked us to make an announcement is that he needs all rosters turned in by November the 13th this upcoming Monday to him at the bus garage. And those grades are K through second. They can be from any school but the teams from the third and fourth grade levels need to be from the same school. We see play little starting. The league November the weekend of November the 18th and 19th and he says if anybody's got any questions, they can contact Mr. Larry Thacker at 606-497-6683. We'll make that announcement a couple more times tonight, Tyler. But that's for the younger kids in the league at the middle school. 5.36 to go. Hyman is up 13-3. to And Lizzie makes his second free throw. Overall, James Hyman from the free throw line, 3 of 4 this evening. In the B team game, we got 5:32 to go in the uh, first half. It's Hyman 14, Car Creek 3. Car Creek with the basketball. Up ahead to Amberg. Amberg stepped out of bounds with it as Mr. Napier says before he made his move. Ball back over to Hyman. If Car Creek, that's those are not turnovers you want to make. Nope, you cannot do that, especially against Hyman. 
Colton Riley brings it across 524 to go. Second quarter, you're watching the preseason boys championship game brought to you by WKCB and Hometown Sports Corner. Over to Melt, nearly stolen by Hall. Osley for three, far side, too hard. Rebounded by Riley. Riley inside the area, and Yuri gets it stolen away from him by Kraft. Kraft comes out of it. Bar Creek is getting the steals. They've just got to execute and return on them. To Hall. Hall comes out and kicks it to Kraft. Kraft double teamed in the corner, kicks it to Hall. Hall back out of Cooper Dials. Dials to Mosley, free throw line. Amberg, far side, comes out with it, nearly stolen away. Probably should have been a foul called, but Hyman got away with it out to Riley. Riley across midcourt, 440 to go, 14 to 3. In the melt, melt and cuts. Goes, lays it up, and we're going to have a foul on Mosley. That's going to be Ashton Mosley's second. Now it looks like Oosley back to the uh, rather on the Melton at the free throw line. James for Hyman. Melton free throws up and good. Gives him five. And Evan Cornett checks in for Ashton Mosley. AJ Melton free throw up and good. Six points on the night for Melton so far for Hyman. 16 to 3, all Hyman in this one. Paul's got it up to dial, stolen away by Melton. It goes out of bounds, but stays with Car Creek. Christian Hall inbounds into Dials, back to Hall. Hall near side to Amberg. Back over to Hall. Hall, free throw line to Cornet. Cornet spins, goes down to the ground, kicks it back out to Hall. To Amberg. Amberg spins. Back out to Christian Hall. 4.13 to go. Hyman leads 16 to 3. Christian comes near side, loses it out of bounds. Say last touch by Riley. It'll stay with Car Creek. Of course, we've got the 18 game following this one, which will feature also Hyman and Car Creek. Out to Christian Hall, top of the key. Over to Kraft. Kraft back to Ambergy. Ambergy looking to drive, crossover. Kicks it out to Hall. Hall wide open from 12, left it short. Ambergy gets the rebound, puts it back up and good. N nice move by Jed Ambergy. Here comes Oosley, Jonah breaks, and he goes down. I thought he just twisted his ankle. Hey, it looks like it from this view. He did take a hard hit to the floor, you, but Car Creek will keep possession. And Oosley loses it, so we'll go back over to Car Creek down 16 to five. Kraft inbounds it to Hall, near side. Hall looking to get the over team along the sideline. He steps out of bounds. And turn back over to Hyman. And say that Mr. Carson Huff checks in and Bentley checks out for Hyman. Car Creek definitely doing their best to up their defense against this Yellow Jacket team, James. Riley to Melton into Huff. Huff looking to spin. Nowhere to go with it. Out to Yuri. Yuri. Melton for three. Too hard. In and out. Rebounded by Dials. Cooper's off to the races across midcourt. He ain't slowed down yet. Goes into Yuri. Lays it up, left it short, rebounded by Melton, stolen away by Jed Ambergy. Jed back ahead to Dials. Dials lays it up, no good, too hard. Fight for it underneath. Melton comes away with it, corner hits the floor for Car Creek. Melton up ahead to Riley. Beautiful pass over to Osley up, no good, left it short. Gets it on rebounding, good. And that is going to make James, uh, looks like you're nine points on the evening for Osley thus far. Now got it far side. Stolen away by KJ into Jonah. Jonah lays it up and good. That press is giving Car Creek all kinds of fits. Yes, it is. That's 11 points on the evening for Oosley. Timeout, Car Creek, a full timeout. We'll take it with them, and we'll be back in 60 seconds. You're listening to Great School Basketball on the Killer B. Tonight's sporting event is sponsored by Tim Short Chevy in Hazard, Kentucky, where they invite you to check out the new 2023 Chevy Equinox. Five buyers can earn up to $1,250 cash back or an interest rate of 2.1%. If you're looking for something other than the Chevy Equinox, don't worry. Tim Short Chevy in Hazard, Kentucky has a wide variety of selections to satisfy you. Trucks, cars, SUVs, 
you name it, they've got it. Come see them in Hazard, Kentucky at the Tim Short Chevy dealership. Knott County Judge Executive Jeff Dobson and the Knott County Fiscal Court is happy to once again be sponsoring another event featuring our Knott County youth. Judge Executive Dobson and the members of the Knott Fiscal Court encourage you to support all our Knott County youth in all of their academic and athletic endeavors. That positive reinforcement means the world to these student athletes. This reminder from Knott County Judge Executive Jeff Dobson and the Knott County Fiscal Court. Championship game underway right now. 2.40 to go in the first half. Hyman 20, Car Creek 5, and Car Creek with the basketball. Hyman comes back out in that 1 2 2 press over the hall. Hall to Niles. Niles kicks it over to Kraft. Kraft up ahead to corner, and it should have been a foul on Huff, and it is. That is what they will call it, Mr. Sandlin. And we're down to 2.30 to go in the first half here. Again, thanks for tuning us in tonight on the Killer B and also over on Hometown Sports Corner tonight as well. Jay comes near side and he's getting, he's got fouled by Riley. Let's see if they'll call it on Colton. And they will. That'll be a foul on Colton Riley. Possession stays with Car Creek. Dials kicks it to Christian Hall, 218 to go, second quarter. Hyman leads 20 to 5. Jed Amberg has got it. Comes near side. Threw it away. With nobody standing there but KJ Melton. KJ goes to Lake Before. Left it short. And Car Creek couldn't retain. They did their best to try to save that one, and it went out of bounds. And Hyman going to get possession of it here. As Melton's going to inbound it for Hyman. Melton and Oosley leading the way in this B-team game for the Yellow Jackets. Over to Riley. Colton. In to KJ. KJ back out to Jonah. Over to Riley. For three. Left it hard and rebounded by Christian Hall. Christian comes out of it across midcourt. Beautiful pass up to Tate Craft. Tate lays it up and... We have got a foul on 35. That will be K.J. Milton of Hyman. And going to the line here for the Indians of Car Creek. James, that is going to be Tate Craft. Tate is 2 for 2 on the night. 3 for 3 from the line. He's got all three of his points in the line. And the majority of Car Creek's points have came from the free throw line so far tonight. And he hits the second one. He's 4-4 four four from the free throw line. 90 seconds to go in the first half as they have cut the Hyman lead to 13. Uh, uh, to Oosley. Back out to Melton. Beautiful pass from Melton into Year, And Year lays it up and good for Leighton. Year gives him four on the night. Hyman relentless in this full court press. 22-7. to seven. Super dialed behind the back. Dribble up to Kraft. Kraft goes against KJ over to Cornet. Cornet pulls up from six. No good, left it short, rebounded by Melton. Up ahead to Riley. Riley guarded by Christian Hall, near side. Riley spins, double team, kicks it back out to Melton. Melton swings it across over to Oosley. 56 seconds to go. Over to Oosley. Back out to Riley. 47 seconds to go. Three on its way by Yuri, nothing but the bottom of the net. And that is seven points on the evening for Blayton Urey of the Yellow Jackets. We're down to 35 seconds in the first half. Hyman 25, Car Creek 7, and Hyman with a steal just like that. Riley for three, far side, way too hard off the backboard. Rebounded by Melton. Melton spins, lays it up and good. That is eight points of the evening for Melton. The strength of Hyman underneath is, is giving high, uh, Car Creek fits underneath. It is, and that is Hyman's best aspect right yeah. there. Out to Dials. Dials looking to spin. Free throw line lays it up, and he walked with it. Five seconds to go in the first half here. James, before we go into halftime, we'll get one more shot off here before we get into it here, and Hyman will get that opportunity. Mountain in Osley across midcourt. Four seconds. Three. Oosley lays it up, left it short, rebounded by Kraft, and that is how we will go into halftime. Hyman, 27, Car Creek, 7, Tyler, and it has been all Hyman since the very first tip-off. 
Yes, it has. It has been a dominating performance. Now, in the first half, Car Creek has picked up some aggression on defense. They're going to have to find a way to kick that up into high gear in the second half of this game. They've got to get some shots to fall. Car Creek's had some, some trouble getting shots to fall, except from the free throw line. They've, but free throw line is one point at a time. Car Creek needs to get some twos and threes going quick. And they've got to get it lit up here in the second half, and they've got plenty of time of which to do it. So I tell you what we are going to do. We are going to send it back to the station for a four-minute break and let some of our sponsors get a word in, and we'll come right back, and we'll get you set for the second half here between Hyman and Car Creek at the B-Team Championship game. And right now it's Hyman 27, Car Creek 7. You are listening to Great School Basketball on WKCB, the Killer B. Good luck, K.J. Melton from Mom and Dad. Good luck, Cole Watts, from Mom and Dad. Have a great eighth grade season. Good luck, Colton and Ethan Riley. Love, Mom and Dad. Good luck, KJ. Praying you have a successful season. Love, Janet and Rick. Good luck, Brantley, BG, and all the Indians. Love, Mom and Dad. Good luck, Ash. Love, Mom and Dad. Go, Indians. Good luck, Tate, from Mom, Dad, Riley, and Presley. Best of luck to you and the Indians. Good luck, and have a great season this year, Braxton. Love, Mom, Nana, Brynn, and Baby B. Good luck, Indians. Good luck to Coach Chas and Natalie from Jamie, Fran, Mal, and Autumn. Good luck, Natalie. Love your number one fan, Autumn. Good luck, bub, to you and your Car Creek Indians. Love Mom, Dad, and Lacey. Go Indians. Good luck this year, boys, and have a great 8th grade year, Aiden. Love Dad, Mom, Sadie, Granny, Nanny, and Nana. Go Indians. Good luck, Presley. Have a great year cheerleading for the Yellow Jackets. Love Dad and Braden, Gold Jackets. Good luck to the Emelina Eagles and Talon Thacker and Brody Hensley. Prayers for an awesome season. Love Mom, Dad, Amanda, and Doug. Good luck, Isaiah. Love Mom, Dad, Kaylee, Michael, and Shane. Good luck, Curry Brandon. Love Mom, Dad, and Ashlyn. Good luck this season, Jackson Messer. Love, Mom. Prayers for an awesome season. Love, Pap, Nana, and Bubby. Go, Blayton. Good luck, Blayton, from Uncle Darren. You and your jackets have a great season. Good luck, Jonah. We're praying for an awesome season. Love, Mom, Dad, and Ellie. Good luck, son. You and your Car Creek Indians have a good season. Love Mom, Dad, and Lacey. Good luck, Natalie, from your favorite fan, Autumn Grace. Have fun cheering this year. The Hindman Promart Home Center has everything you need to winterize your home to save on those power bills when that cold winter weather arrives. When you walk through the doors at the Hindman Promart, you're greeted by an experienced, knowledgeable staff who knows you, knows what you need, and know where it's located in their store. You don't need your GPS to find your way around the Hyman Promart. They're large enough to have what you need, but not so big that they can't offer the service you expect. And Hyman Promart is your headquarters for those energy-efficient, world-famous Anderson windows. The Hindman Promart Home Center, Highway 160 Hindman, call 606-785-3151. Nestled in the mountains of Appalachia, along the Purpose Road, is a hidden gem, Alice Lloyd College. For 100 years, ALC has been providing opportunities. Opportunity to learn from the best. Opportunity to work for my education. Opportunity to serve my community. Opportunity to become a leader. Opportunity to find my life's purpose. Apply now to find your purpose at Alice Lloyd College. You're watching Wild Sports. Go Indians!
four points all coming from the free throw line. Ashton Mosley, one of two from the free throw line. And Jed Ambergy got two points there for the Indians of Car Creek in the first half. And the second half getting set to tip off here between Hyman and Car Creek at the B-Team Championship game. A-Team game follows this one, also featuring Hyman and Car Creek. And you'll hear that right here on the Killer B and also over on Hometown Sports Corner. We appreciate everybody tuning in or watching via the internet, whichever platform you're watching. We do appreciate you uh, tuning in to the uh, broadcast tonight. It is greatly appreciated. And again, a big thanks to uh, Cody Spark. Back in studio controls of the Killer Bee, making sure we get on the radio airwaves tonight to fly across the air across southeast Kentucky this evening. Yep, and once again, we made the announcement earlier. We'll make it a couple more times. Mr. Larry Thacker has asked us to announce that if you're going to put a team in K through second or third or fourth into the middle school league, he needs all rosters turned in by this upcoming Monday, November the 13th. Uh, he said you can turn it into him at the bus garage. If uh, you put a team in K through second, they can be a mixture for many school uh, to play in that. But if they are in the third or fourth grade league, that all have to be from the same school. He said he plans on starting playing games the week of November the 18th and the 19th. And if you got any questions, you can contact him at 606-497-6683 as Hyman inbounds it. Misses the shot. Here comes Car Creek back with it. Mr. Tate Craft ahead to Cooper Dials. Dials, double team, stolen away by Yeary. Yeary looks, kicks it back out to Melton. Melton goes baseline against Mosley, lays it up, no good. KJ gets his own rebound back. And Car Creek fans are calling for a walk. Probably got a legitimate complaint. Ahead to Amberg. Amberg over to Craft. Craft thought about it, shoots a three, and good. Seven points on the evening there for Tate Craft for the Indians, and it looks like to start out the second half, James, the Car Creek Indians have found some spark. It was, but here comes Jonah Osley back down. Gives him 12 on the day. Goes to coach 29 to 10. And Car Creek with a steal. Craft up to Mosley. Mosley comes midcourt, spins. Those free throw line looking to go all the way in and lose it out of bounds or knock out of bounds at a stable car creek. I knew something had to kick into high gear for Car Creek in the second half, and it's showing right out of the gate. Kraft inbounds it to Hall, 445 to go. Car Creek right to left. Kraft, Mosley for three. Too hard off the back of the rim. Rebounded by Dial. Dial ball fakes, lays it up, blocked by Yeary. Here he comes across with it, pulls it back out. Up to Riley. Riley pulls up from about 20. No good, left it short, and we're going to have over the back on Bentley. It's going to be his third foul. His first. 29 to 10. It's still yet Hyman with the lead in this one here. 4.23 to go in quarter number three this evening. James, 18 game follows. And Car Creek bringing it up the length of the floor here. And they're working quickly here to start this second half. Kraft, ball fake, lays it up, blocked by Erie. Out to Bentley. Bentley kicks it over to Riley. Riley near side. But kicks it out to Oosley. Jonah to Erie. Erie, ball fake, steps back for the three. Too hard, Oosley. Nobody blocked him out. Goes up and gets it. And Mosley comes down with a rebound, rips it out of there. He's letting everybody know he's got that one. Out to Cooper Dials. Dials up ahead to Kraft. Kraft guarded by Osley. Back to Dials. Over to Hall. Credit where credit's due. James Car Creek starting to give Hyman some fits here to start the second half. Out to Kraft. Hamburger. Car Creek's got to start going a little quicker. As... We're a running clock now for Hyman. Over to Ambergy. Ambergy back to Hall. Back over to Ambergy. Hall, Mosley, Kraft. 3.09 to go. Hyman leads 29 to 10. As Coach Riley is still getting on to his guys about playing hard defense. Hall for three. Too hard. And goes out of bounds. Ball back over to Hyman. Uh, uh, 2.50 to go in quarter number three. Osley back over to Melton. Melton back to Jonah. 
Jonah to year. He thought about it, pulls it back down over to Riley. Riley for three, top of the key. Nothing but the bottom of the net. Count it, that's his first three of the evening. First three points overall tonight for Riley of the Yellow Jackets. Colton's got stronger in the offseason. Christian Hall over to Jed Ambergy. Back to Hall, over to Kraft. Kraft thought about it, pulls it back down. Slings it out to Christian Hall. Ball loose, that's going to be a foul on, I'd say, Riley. Yep, foul on Colton Riley. It's going to be his save. Tate Kraft going to throw the ball back in now for the Indians. Car Creek at the end. He's got seven points in the evening for the Indians. Seven of their total ten. Ball into Amberg. Amberg backs it back out. The 155 as Carson Huff comes off the bench for Hyman to check into the ball game. Christian over to Amberg. Amberg for three. Nothing but the bottom of the net. And just like that, that is five points of the evening for Amberg and that. Gets Car Creek up to a total of 13. Car Creek finding a little momentum here. Here he gets it across out to Riley. Riley lays a floater up way too short. Rebounded by Moser. Here comes Ashton across the midcourt. Ashton, a good looking athlete. Goes, lays it up, and no good. He's going to be fouled by Yeary. And that's going to be Yuri's second. And Mosley going to be at the line to shoot two for the Indians here. He is one of two from the free throw line this evening, James. And let's see if he can uh, put two more points up on the board here for the Indians. Mosley shot up and good. Two of three for Mosley from the foul line this evening. We're down to under one minute to go in the third. Hyman 32, Car Creek 14. Mosley second free throw up, no good. Rebounded by Hyman. Here comes KJ Melton with 44 seconds. Up ahead to Bentley. Bentley shoots from six. Way too hard. Air ball. Rebounded by Tate Craft. Car Creek. Cross midcourt. 34 seconds to go. If anybody sees our good friend Jamie Hughes, tell him we said hello. Seems like Jamie's been gone a while, Tyler. Yes, it does. <laughs> Laying on a beach somewhere. I'll I tell know you it. right now. The Jimmy Buffett would say, I'll bet he's eating a big cheeseburger on Paradise right now. Oh, you know he is. Ball goes out of bounds. It'll stay with Car Creek as the clock continues to run with 10 seconds. Kraft for three. No good. Rebounded by Huff. Huff for four seconds, and he's going to be fouled by Mosley. And just like that, it's the end of the third quarter. And at the end of three, Hyman 32, Car Creek 14 in the, BG, in the B Team Championship game. And we'll be back in one minute for the fourth and final quarter. Stay with us. You're listening to the Killer B, WKCB. Hey you, it's a me, a Marcello. Are you looking for a great place to eat lunch or a dinner? Now go right now to Hot Rods. They have delicious pizza, cheese sticks, spaghetti, wings, a salad bar, and a more. You can eat in, carry out, or get a delivery from four great locations. Heinemann, Hazard, Allen, and Abetzi Lane. That's a Hot Rods. It's a the best place to side in Italy. Mwah! For over a hundred years, the Bank of Hyman has been committed to serving our community and serving the future of our families, homes, and businesses. With our new convenient online banking, viewing your account balance and history, transferring money, and paying bills has never been easier or more secure. And with the construction of our new headquarters, we've renewed our promise to Hyman to stand by our customers even in troubling economic times because we're not just your bank, we're your neighbors. That's the Bank of Hyman. Log on to www.bankofhyman.com or give us a call at 606-785-3158. With the preseason boys not county grade school tournament right now i'm in 32 car creek 14 tyler wolf alongside james sandlin here and we are getting set for the fourth and final six minutes of this b team championship game and car creek going to throw the ball back into play james to get the fourth and final quarter underway and murray the hall back to jed jed pulls up three and gets the roll. Wow, that is seven points on the, or eight points, I should say, there for Amberg. He's second three of the evening. Up ahead to Bentley of Hyman, back to Jonah. I'm, or Car Creek's in a two to three, in a two three zone. Riley back over to Oosley. 
Uzi looking inside there, cutting Melton. Melton kicks it out to Bentley. Bentley from eight. Left it short. KJ gets the rebound back, lays it up and good. It's going to be five, a foul on Cooper Dials. He dials his second. And Melton's going to go to the line for the old three-point play. He is two of two from the free throw line this evening, James. If I've got my count correct, and it's 34-17. Heinemann with a 17-point lead. First foul shot up by Melton. It's good. Only a one-point opportunity there from the free throw line. So that's three of three for him, and that's nine points total for Melton for the Yellow Jackets. And Car Creek with possession of the basketball here. The 18 game will follow this one. And a three-pointer on the way from Car Creek. No good. Heinemann with a rebound. Here comes Colton Riley, 447, go running clock. Riley down to KJ, back out to Bentley. Bentley swings it over to Oosley. KJ gets it far corner, looks to go baseline, kicks it out to Riley. Riley, three on its way in front of the bench. Left it short, Bentley goes up and battles for it. Huff gets it, Huff lays it up too hard. And goes out of bounds on Hyman. Ball will stay with Far Creek. 415 and counting, James. And again, the 18 championship game follows this one also featuring the Yellow Jenkins Feynman and the Indians of Car Creek. Car Creek with possession of it here. They're going to launch another three from Ambergy. Bounces off the glass and no good. And Hyman with a rebound, and they're rushing it up the length of the floor quickly. And Jonah lays it up and good. And for Jonah, that is 15 points of the evening for him. 37-17, nearly stolen away by Huff. Dials pulls up from six, too hard. K.J. Melton gets it out to Oosley. Oosley lays it up, and too hard. Gets his own rebound back, too hard. And missed the look. Give me. Coach Riley won't like that one. Even with a big lead, you got to make your layups. Yep, you've got to make them. Here comes Hall. Over to Amberg, back to Hall. Hamburg, thought about it, pulls it down Hall. Dials, into Dials, back out to Hall, top of the key, yes sir. Wow. Get Hall dialed up the long distance. That's his first three points of the evening and the fourth three in the game for the Indians of Car Creek. And they come up with a steal just like that. Over to Cornet, Cornet loses it out to Bentley. Oosley, 251 to go. Hyman up 37 to 20 in the B team championship. Bentley over to Melton. To Riley. Riley for three. Left it short. Out of bounds. And he'll go back to Car Creek. And we've got a host of Yellow Jackets checking to the ball game. Number 22. Sugar Melton. Twenty-four is also in the game. Twenty-four, Sugar Melton, number twenty-two, Bryson Mosley, number forty-four, Kim O. Gibson. For Hyman Hall over to Mosley. Ashton spins free throw line against Hub, kicks over to Hall. Hall thought about it, kicks over to Amber. Amber for three, left it short. Here comes Hyman, still looking to run. Under two minutes left. And good defense by Christian Hall. And he goes out of bounds back over to Car Creek. 150 and counting. Heinemann 37, Car Creek 20 currently in the B-Team Championship game. Mosley looking to spin, lays it up. And good, nice move by Ashton Mosley. And that'll make four points of the evening for Mosley there for the Indians of Car Creek. 90 seconds and counting before we put the cap on the B-Team Championship game. Dials ahead to Amberg. Amberg pulls it back out. Kicks it out the hall, top the key. On its way, he just made one from there. Make it two. Wow. Just like that. As Mr. Kerry Sloan checks in, Caleb Bentley goes out for Hyman. Huff up to Sloan. Back to Huff. Huff lays it up. No good. Carter Creek working quickly. They've cut the Hyman lead to 12 all of a sudden. Mosley they've, left handed. And they've cut it to 10 just like that. I'll tell you what, James Ashton Mosley there for the Indians. A Car Creek, a very excellent ball player down low when he can find those open looks. Curry into Gibson. Gibson across midcourt. 39 seconds. Go. Kicks it over to Shug. Shug lays it up. Left it short. 
Mosley goes on the floor after it. And we've got all kinds on the floor after it. And they're going to say Hyman's ball, the jump ball. Going to give one last shot off James, and that's going to put the cap on the B-team game. Over to Gibson. Gibson goes baseline, lays it up, and good. And I think we've sealed the deal with this one here tonight, the B-team championship game. Three on the play, Van Berkey left it short. Cornet puts it back up, no good. Mosley puts it up. No good, and that's the way we end it. Heinemann 39, Car Creek 27. That is your final from the B Team Championship game of this evening, the James. And we've got the A Team game coming up here in just a few short moments from now. That also features Heinemann and Car Creek. Yeah, we get us uh, try to get us a Heinemann B Team player to come up here and speak to us. But let's step away from us. A 60 second break as we get a player up here with us. You're listening to Killer B on 107.1. Good luck, Tate, from Mom, Dad, Riley, and Presley. Good luck, Coach Chas and Natalie, from Jamie, Fran, Autumn, and Mallory. Good luck, Cole. Love, Mom and Dad. Prayers for an awesome season. Love, Pap, Nana, and Bubby. Go, Blayton. Good luck, Blayton, from Uncle Darren. You and your jackets have a great season. Good luck, Jonah. We're praying for an awesome season. Love, Mom, Dad, and Ellie. Good luck, son. You and your car. Championship game over Car Creek, 39 to 27, and James, you've got us a player of the game here sitting next to you. Yeah, one of our players of the game, Mr. KJ Melton. KJ, uh, after a tough loss last night, they ended. That's not a bad way to come back, claiming the B Team County Championship. Nope. What, uh, what did Coach Riley tell you all coming in today in the B Team game that you got to do? Come out strong and play as hard as we can. You know, y'all pass the ball well in, in the press. It's obvious that you all spend that probably you all spend a lot of time working on the press. Um, but you know, now you've had to, you've showed everybody in the county what kind of press you do. What have you got to do going forward from tonight for the rest of the season to, to prove that tonight isn't a fluke in the B team? Just keep playing hard. Keep playing hard. I like it. I like that attitude. Now here's what I want you to do. Tell me something about a teammate, and you don't have to tell me which teammate. Probably nobody else knows. Anybody play the harmonica, the flute, anything like that? I don't think so. Anything you want? Any, anything? Who's the funniest? If there's one guy on the team that, that's got to crack a joke, who's that going to be? Colton Riley. Colton Riley. Colton Riley. I, all right. If there's one player on the team that may grow up to be governor after the governor's race last night. Who's Probably the, Slim. Slim. Who's Slim? Kalen. Bentley? Yeah. Well, I, I like it. Governor Bentley. I mean, that might be his nickname rest of the year. Well, governor man, Bentley. Governor Bentley, Tyler. That's that's not a bad nickname. We can call him the governor. All right. It's got a nice ring to it. Got a nice ring to it. Now, I know that we've got the A-team coming up. What have we got to do to for, try to get the victory in the A-team championship? Box out. They're Box. a lot bigger than us. Well, what's the key on the offense? What have we got? What time we got to do on the offensive side? Pass the ball and penetrate. Pass the ball and penetrate. I like it, man. Well, I won't keep you. I know you got it, man, but congratulations, and uh, hopefully we get to interview you again here in about another 45 minutes. Thank you. Congratulations, KJ. And Tyler, man, he does another. Addiction is a disorder. We treat and we manage addiction like any other disorder. The issue touched me when I start seeing more and more young families fighting addiction start having babies born with an addiction issue. When we have a great outcome, when we see that person coming back on their feet 
working and producing and providing for their families. That's the best outcome and make you feel that you're doing something right. led the way for the Yellow Jackets of the B-team game. He managed to pick up 15 points. Blayton Yeary managed to pick up 10 points. And Kalen Bentley got uh, one point. That coming from the free throw line. The scoring for Car Creek, Tate Kraft, um, one of the leaders on the team in the B-team game. He managed to get seven points. Four of those coming from the free throw line. Ashton Mosley, I tell you what, really helped out Car Creek there in the second half of that game, James. Ashton Mosley, uh, he managed to pick up six points in the game for the Indians there. Jed Amberg, he got eight points in uh, six of those coming from the three-point line as he managed to get two threes in that game there toward the end. And... Uh, Christian Hale got uh, three points as well for the uh, Car Creek Indians there in the B-Team Championship game. And again, your final score of the B-Team Championship game, Heinemann 39, Car Creek 27. We've got the A-Team game coming up here in just about 10 minutes from now, which will feature Heinemann and Car Creek. So I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll send it back to the uh, station, let Cody play a couple of songs, and we'll come right back for the uh, tip-off of the A-Team game from the Morton Combs Athletic Complex out here at Knott County Central High School. You are listening to the Killer B WKCB.